Well, we just got like a thousand inches of rain, so I'd say it's a good day for maintenance. So let's do the lower leg service on this RockShox Pike. So here's what you're gonna need for this job. You know, technically a torque wrench, although I didn't have the right size bits for it. A five millimeter hex and a two and a half millimeter hex. You want some new crush washers, a pick, some brake cleaner or alcohol, SRAM butter, RockShox suspension fluid, gloves are helpful. And I put two new foam rings in there, although they say that you can use the old foam rings, but I would say you put two new ones in there. And of course some towels and rags, a dowel rod, and a flashlight is helpful. Let's start by removing the air from the fork. Then remove the wheel. Then remove the brake line clamp and the caliper. Use the two and a half millimeter hex to remove the rebound adjuster knob. Be sure to place an oil pan or bucket underneath the fork. Then use a five millimeter hex to loosen the bottom bolts a few turns. And use a rubber mallet to tap on these bolts and break the lower unit free. Now remove those bolts and drain that oil. Then pull the lower legs right off. Right off. There you go. Take a clean towel and wipe off those stanchions and those shafts. Get those nice and clean. Okay, now we're gonna remove the foam rings with a pick. Be careful not to scratch anything here. Then we're gonna take the brake cleaner, spray it in there, clean everything off real nice. Wrap a towel around your dowel rod, stick it in there, twist it around, make sure you get everything clean. Use a flashlight to inspect to make sure there's no damage to the bushings on the inside of the fork. Now put some oil in a little container. Throw a couple of foam rings in there, soak them up real good. Stretch those bad boys out a little bit before you install them. And make sure you get those suckers in there straight. You don't want any folds in those foam rings or they won't work right. Now wipe up any excess oil. Then we're gonna take that organic SRAM butter, put a liberal amount on the inside of those dust wipers. Okay, now I've turned the bike upside down so I can slide that lower unit back on. It's a little bit tricky here, but you'll get it. Just don't damage those dust wipers. And make sure you leave some space between the shaft and those holes. Now my fork takes 10 milliliters on each side. Make sure you check the specs on yours to fill it up exactly. Notice how I'm entering this at an angle so that I don't just shoot the oil into the shaft. Now make sure you put new crush washers on those bolts or you might get a leak. Then tighten them down to the specified torque. 7.3 Newton meters. Wipe up any excess oil so that afterward you can tell if you're leaking or not. Then reinstall that rebound adjuster knob. So now just reinstall your wheel, your brake caliper, and fill your fork back up to the same level that it was before. Now if you want to see the easy way to line your caliper up so that your brakes are not rubbing, I made a video about that. You can click on this link right over here and I'll take you right to that video. This service is recommended every 30 hours by Fox, every 50 hours by RockShox. This is going to keep your fork performing well and extend its lifespan. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you aren't already for more great videos, and I'll see you on the next adventure.